was so powerful and so apt. Do you know which surah he recited? Which surah? Surah Yusuf. Do you know the story of Yusuf or at least a summary or synopsis of it? Put up your hand if you do. Okay, can I pick someone here to come up and... Ah, all the hands have gone down, right? No, it's okay, I'm teasing you. So Alhamdulillah, that's the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. He was gifted by Allah in a billion and one ways. And he was tested by Allah in so many ways too. Tonight is a night of motivation. I'm going to seize this opportunity to speak about the verses that he recited because, mashallah, he read a large chunk of the end of the story. Some of you who know a little bit of Arabic might have picked up some of it, where right at the end, when the brothers and what they did to their own brother was actually, you know, exposed. It brings tears to the eyes to just listen to those verses. قَالُوا أَإِنَّكَ لَأَنْتَ يُوسُفُ قَالَ أَنَا يُوسُفُ وَهَذَا أَخِي They asked after being cornered, is it that you, you are Yusuf? Because what you're telling us, in other words, it, nobody could have known except him. We did things in our lives that no one knows except the person. And he says, yes, I'm Yusuf. This is my brother. Imagine for how many years this man suffered at the hands of his own brothers or because of what they did. Let me take you back. And the reason I take you back is in every one of us, in the lives of every one of us, we will have so much in terms of blessings of Allah, billions of blessings. But we will have a few challenges. And Allah promises you, Wallahi, my sisters, my brothers, Allah promises you and he says, if you try to count the favors that I have bestowed upon you, you will never be able to count them all. Impossible. But if you'd like to count the challenges and the tests that we've put in your life, you will always be able to count them. Subhanallah. If I ask you, I can't ask you about the blessings of Allah because Allah says, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا if you're going to try and count all the favors of Allah upon you, you're not going to be able to do that. So let me not ask you about what the favors of Allah upon you are. You have to ponder, you have to think, you have to realize, you have to work with those who are less privileged, those who are challenged in one way or another, and you begin to realize. But I can ask you a question, a serious one. How many challenges and difficulties and hardships do you face in your life? Wallahi, I swear by Allah, that every one of us is able to count them. Think for a moment. One, two, think of the problems you have, the issues. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you have eight issues, nine maybe. Not even nine in the case of most of us. Do you agree with me? Come on, talk to me. You agree with me? Is that not the favor of Allah? That's why I started off by saying billions of favors he was blessed with, but many trials. So all of us will have trials. What did Yusuf alayhi salam have? What was his challenge? The challenge was the jealousy of his brothers overtook them and they started planning and plotting something against him all because of the jealousy. Inna al-hasada ya'kulu al-hasanat kama ta'kulu al-nar al-hatab. Jealousy will eat away at your good deeds in the same way that fire would eat a dry log. 